546 is your time right now. It's time for another check on your weather. And this morning, we are taking a live look across the district. A beautiful shot of the Lincoln this mm -hmm. morning. Uh, we are hovering in the upper 30s, so it's definitely a frigid start to our day. Yeah. Let's check in now with Taylor to uh, find out when the sun will come out and hopefully Tomorrow. warm us up a little bit. <laughs> I was ready for it. <laughs> that That's was your good, bottom dollar show had the answer. <laughs> yes, it, oh, we're doing good today. <laughs> and we're going to see the sun actually today, too. So, uh, again, it's just going to be a very cold start. Going to take some time to warm up. Eventually, we'll make it back to the 50s. All together, though, we're certainly feeling that deep chill early this morning. 37 degrees from our camera at the wharf. We have that breeze in place, which is making it feel a few degrees colder. So, dress for the, the low 30s, really, to kick off this morning. Uh, going to be a kind of a cool and breezy day. Uh, at least the breeze will subside a little bit throughout the afternoon. Do want to mention we have some snow flurries that are popping up north and west of D.C., especially northward up towards Baltimore, even Hagerstown, getting reports of some flurries coming down there. Uh, west, our western, northwestern suburbs may briefly pick up on a flurry. Other than that, we'll have high pressure overhead, which will bring us mainly dry, quiet weather throughout the rest of today. I think we'll get a mixture of sun and clouds and temperatures, maybe a few degrees below the average for this time of year. Altogether, we should still make it back into the upper 40s to mid 50s. That breeze will slowly subside through us, really throughout the day. It's going to take some time. Still kind of breezy into tonight. Night. Notice it will get cold again overnight tonight. We're back to the 30s to kick off tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow is the one day of the week that we had the chance to get back to the 60s. So a brief warm up tomorrow, low, upper 50s to low 60s. With that, though, we're not going to, one, see a whole lot of sunshine. And two, I think we'll see a couple of pop-up showers. Uh, we'll fast forward through the rest of this week. Thursday looks dry. Friday, it looks like we could see some showers arrive later in the evening. So most of the daytime will remain dry. Saturday morning, though, looks like it could be a little bit soggy. Seven-day forecast. It shows the roller coaster temperatures continuing. We're back to the 60s tomorrow, low 50s with sunshine on Thursday, maybe some showers out there late Friday. That's going to stick around for the first part of the weekend, and then we'll dry out Sunday into Monday.